The Chile national football team Selección de Fútbol de Chile represents Chile in major international football competitions and is controlled by the Federación de Fútbol de Chile which was established in 1895. The team is commonly referred to as La Roja, the Red One. They have appeared in nine World Cup tournaments and were hosts of the 1962 FIFA World Cup where they finished in third place, the highest position the country has ever achieved in the World Cup. Since the mid to late 1960s, the ELO ratings ranks Chile among the ten strongest football teams in the world. Chile are the reigning Copa America champions. After winning 2015 Copa America on home soil, they successfully defended their title in the United States in the Copa America Centenario in 2016. Prior to this, Chile had been runners up in the competition on four occasions. As a result of winning the 2015 Copa America, they qualified for the 2017 FIFA Confederations Cup, where they finished second. History The Federación de Fútbol de Chile is the second oldest South American federation, having been founded in Valparaiso on 19 June 1895. Chile is one of the four founding member nations of CONMEBOL. Together with Argentina, Brazil, and Uruguay, the four competed in the first South American Championship, later to be renamed the Copa America, in 1916. On 12 October 1926, Chile made the first corner kick goal in Copa America history in a match against Bolivia. Chile was one of the 13 national teams that competed in the inaugural World Cup in 1930. The team started off well, beating Mexico and France without conceding a goal. A 3-1 loss to Argentina in the final game left the Chilean team in second place within the group, eliminating it from the tournament. In the 1950 World Cup, Chile defeated the United States, 5-2, but nevertheless was eliminated in the first round. The best Chilean result in the World Cup was third place in 1962, as the host nation. Chile lost 4-2 to eventual champion Brazil in a semi-final but went on to defeat Yugoslavia 1-0 to earn third place. Chilean players made two World Cup firsts. The first player to miss a World Cup penalty kick was the Chilean Guillermo Subiabra, in a 1930 FIFA World Cup match against France, and Carlos Casale of Chile became the first player to be sent off with a red card, during a match against West Germany at the 1974 World Cup. La Roja's most infamous moment, known as the Roberto Rojas scandal, or in Chile as El Maracanazo occurred on 3 September 1989. At a 1990 FIFA World Cup qualifying match at Rio de Janeiro's Maracana Stadium, Brazil led Chile 1-0 and La Roja needed to win. Chilean goalkeeper Roberto Rojas fell to the pitch with an apparent injury to his forehead. A firework had been thrown from the stands by a Brazilian fan named Rosenari Melo do Nascimento and was smoldering about a yard away. After Rojas was carried off the pitch, the Chilean players and coaches claimed that conditions were not safe and they refused to return, so the match was abandoned. However, video footage of the match showed that the firework had not made contact with Rojas. FIFA forfeited the game to Brazil, Chile was banned from the qualifiers for the 1994 FIFA World Cup, and Rojas was banned for life, although an amnesty was granted in 2001. On 19 July 2007, the Chilean Football Federation banned six of the national team players, because of internal indiscipline, during the Copa America tournament, for 20 international matches each and none of the players will ever be allowed to captain the national team. The players banned were Captain Jorge Valdivia, defenders Álvaro Ormeño, Rodrigo Tello, Jorge Vargas, Pablo Contreras and striker Reynaldo Navia. Nelson Acosta's resignation as manager came after Chile were knocked out of the 2007 Copa America. Chile had qualified to the quarterfinals after a 3-2 win against Ecuador, and a 0-0 draw against Mexico. But two losses, one of those being a 6-1 defeat against Brazil, sealed Acosta's fate. Former Argentina manager Marcelo Bielsa was given the task of becoming the Chile national team manager in preparation for the 2010 World Cup qualifiers. On the 16th of October 2008, Chile beat Argentina 1-0 for the first time in a qualifying competition, making history. Marcelo Bielsa was acclaimed for this accomplishment by both Chilean and Argentinian people. This match was seen as one of the reasons that ended Alfio Basile's tenure as Argentina's coach. 
After finishing in second place of the CONMEBOL qualifiers for the 2010 FIFA World Cup held in South Africa and reaching the round of 16 at the tournament, head coach Marcelo Bielsa extended his contract with the Chilean national team until 2015. Bielsa stated that he would leave his position if Jorge Segovia were elected as president of the Chilean football board. He followed through on this threat, despite Segovia's election being annulled, and resigned in February 2011. Claudio Borghi then became Chile's manager in March 2011. After a string of bad performances and harsh criticisms, Claudio Borghi stepped down as Chile's manager in November 2012. A new manager, Jorge Sampaoli, was appointed in December 2012. A disciple of Marcelo Bielsa, Jorge Sampaoli broke new records for La Roja by winning 10, drawing 3, and losing only 3 of 15 games as the head of the Chilean national team. With Sampaoli, Chile were able to qualify for 2014 FIFA World Cup, reaching to the round of 16, where Chile lost to Brazil in penalties. In the 2015 Copa America, Chile won their first game against Ecuador, with 2-0 being the score. In their second game, Chile drew against Mexico. Chile advanced to the knockout stage as Group A winners with seven points and most goals scored of any team in the tournament 10. Then they beat Uruguay in the quarter-finals and Peru in the semi-finals. In the final, Chile defeated Argentina on penalties 4 after a 0-0 draw, to win their first Copa America title. In January 2016, just six months after winning the 2015 Copa America, Jorge Sampaoli stepped down as Chile's manager. A new manager, the Argentinian Juan Antonio Pizzi, was appointed at the end of the same month, who then led La Roja to a second Copa America Centenario 2016 victory after again beating Argentina in the final. In the 2017 FIFA Confederations Cup held in Russia, for which they had qualified by winning the Copa America, Chile won their first group stage match against Cameroon with 2 0 being the score. In their second match against the Germany, Chile drew after a hard match and both teams scored one. In their final game of the group stage against Australia, Chile drew once again but qualified to the knockout stage on virtue of having more points than Australia, though having less points than Germany. In the semis, after a tense and exciting match, Chile came out on top, beating Portugal on penalties, 3-0 and hence they qualified for the 2017 FIFA Confederations Cup final. In their first ever final in a FIFA-sanctioned tournament, Chile faced Germany and lost 1-0. On 10 October 2017, after losing 3-0 to Brazil, Chile failed to qualify for the 2018 FIFA World Cup in Russia, causing an end to what was perceived as their golden generation. They ended up being the highest-ranked team that failed to qualify at 9th. <laughs> Kits The team kit consists of a red jersey, blue shorts, and white socks. The away jersey features a white jersey, white shorts, and blue socks. The color scheme of red, white, and blue that was featured in the 1947 South American Championship, the precursor of the Copa America, has remained in place since. In 2016, red shorts were introduced as an option for the first time. In August 2010, Puma acquired the contract to be the official kit supplier for the Chilean team from 2011 to 2015, paying $3 million per year, also providing referees kits and balls for domestic club competitions. The previous kit supplier, from 2004 to 2010 including the 2010 World Cup, was Brooks Sports. Puma Company ended its link after the Copa America 2015 with the tender for the new brand that will outfit the team since August 2015. This procedure was won by the American company Nike. Thus, the brand will be responsible for all the costumes of the selection once the Copa America ends. The contract with Nike will last until the 2022 FIFA World Cup. <laughs> Stadium The Chilean national team plays their qualifying matches at the Estadio Nacional Julio Martínez Prodanos located in Santiago, Chile and can be found at the Commune of Ñuñoa. The construction of the stadium began in February 1937, and opened on 3 December 1938. The current official registered capacity is of 49,000 spectators, but has surpassed the 75,000 mark on many occasions when the match is of high demand. 
An example would be the 1962 FIFA World Cup semifinal match Chile vs Brazil, where over 76,000 spectators viewed the game. The maximum attendance ever was 85,262 on the 26th of December 1962 for a game between Universidad Católica and Universidad de Chile. It has hosted four Copa America finals, the final of the 1962 FIFA World Cup and the final to the 1987 FIFA World Youth Championship. Topic: Rivalries. Argentina With 89 games played, this is the most played fixture in the history of the Chilean national team and the third most played for Argentina, after their encounters with Uruguay and Brazil. The team's first meeting was in Buenos Aires on 27 May 1910, and matches always draw large crowds in Chile. Peru. The Chile-Peru football rivalry is known in Spanish as the Clásico del Pacífico Pacific Derby. The rivalry is considered to be one of the fiercest rivalries in the world, with CNN World Sport editor Greg Duke ranking it among the top ten football rivalries in the world. The rivalry between Chile and Peru stems from historical politics, border disputes, and the War of the Pacific, with the rivalry producing some of the most intense matches in South American footballing history. Chile first faced Peru in the 1935 South American Championship, losing 1-0. Topic: <inaudible> Argentina. <inaudible> Coca-Cola since 1962 FIFA World Cup Entel since 2003 Home Center Sodimac since 2007 Cerveza Crystal since 2007 Childvision TV broadcaster of Chile's qualifying and friendly matches since 2018 Nike since 2015 Atau Corp Banca since 2015 Samsung since 2011 Cherry since 2013. Cecina's PF since 2012. Gillette since 2012. Topic: Managers. Topic: Players. Topic: Current squad The following 24 players have been called up for the friendly matches against Costa Rica on 16 November and Honduras on 20 November 2018, caps and goals updated as of 20 November 2018 after the match against Honduras. Recent call-ups The following players have been called up in the last 12 months. Topic: Results and fixtures. Topic: 2018. Topic: 2019. Topic Records Topic Competitive Record Topic FIFA World Cup Champions Runners Up Third Place Fourth Place Topic Record by opponent Topic FIFA Confederations Cup Topic Copa America 
Champions runners up third place fourth place Topic Summer Olympics Gold silver bronze Topic Pan American Games Topic Honors FIFA World Cup Third place 1, 1962 South American Championship, Copa America Winners 2, 2015, 2016 Runners-up 4, 1955, 1956, 1979, 1987 Third place 5, 1926, 1941, 1945, 1967, 1991 Fourth place 10, 1916, 1917, 1919, 1920, 1924, 1935, 1939, 1947, 1953, 1999 FIFA Confederations Cup Runners-up 1, 2017 Pan American Championship Runners-up 1, 1952 Friendly Winner, 1995 Canada Cup Winner, 2017 China Cup See also Chile women's national football team Chile national under-20 football team Chile national under-17 football team South American Footballer of the Year Notes In 2010, Chicago-based rock band Manwomanchild released the song, Chile La Roja, in support of Chile's 2010 World Cup team.